So it looks like we don't have, we're not gonna have number one contenders for the tag titles at the moment because Storm basically got ticked off with both tag teams because first, uh, first, um, Daniels tried to win by pulling the tights and then, uh, spit and be on his face and when he went to when he went to retaliate, uh, Daniels moved and he kicked Daniels in the face. But then, uh, so he just, uh, he kicked Daniels in the face and walked out of the match, which determined the draw. Then we go back to the back where Aces and Eights are destroying, uh, a beat down Magnus. Man, it looks like he's about to get the upper hand. He grabs the low blows, dark, grabs a T.Y. 4 or something, but they all surround him, jump him, and dark ends up hitting him with a wooden box in the head. So, they beat him down, and then it looks like Magnus won't be able to participate in the six-man tag. So, we still don't know who's going to be in the main event with Sting and Angle. See, in my opinion, it may either be Duo or AJ or someone we don't know. Or it could be the guy that Hogan was talking to on the phone, even though we still don't know who that was. But we'll have to wait to find out. See you in a couple minutes. <laughs> what a novelty. Uh, what a novel idea! TNA's actually pushing its mid-card mid -card champion title, championship title, the X Division, uh, with Kenny King coming out seemingly to plays, uh, saving for coming back the way he did last week, but turns out he was just out there to Tell him he'll never get the X Division title back. He actually gives him the belt as a way of saying, a way, as a, uh, just so he can tell him that no, be the closest he'll get to being an X Division champion. But instead of giving the belt back to, to uh, Kenny King, Saban throws it at him and instant punches him in the face until he, until. Uh, King went out of the wing until King walks out of the wing and uh, back into the crowd behind the wing, behind the guard wheel. Then we go back to the back where it looks like James Storms got uh, beat up by somebody because he's knocked out and uh, both Storm and Aries, not Storm, but both Wood and Aries and Bad Influence are all there around him. So, did one, of, did one team jump in? Or did all four of them jump in? This is what I've been wanting since Bad Influence and Wood and Aries started this whole feud. I've been wanting the four of them to come together and form their own group. It could be fortune, it could be a new fortune, it could be whatever you want to call it, but I think that'd be a cool group. The four of them all together, if that's what happened, I'm all for it, but if it turns out to be just one side, or it's somebody completely different, we'll have to find out. See you in a couple of minutes. We're about to go into the main event. Huh. The six, the six man tag's on the way, but will it be a six man tag? I mean, seriously. Sting and Angle are in the wing now. We got Ace and Ace about to make their way out, but there's no one on. There's only two guys against three. Hogan's got someone on the phone, but no one, still no one knows who it is. Is it some, is it somebody that hasn't been there for a while? Was it a brand new guy? Will he actually help or benefit the team? Also, these and they have duo washing bikes and getting 
uh, the bill of rights. Apparently Knox is the... Apparently Knox is the blame for the operation. Says the... Uh, says the president fully way. But who's gonna be in the six-man tag? Who's gonna team with Sting and Angle and will it help? And will it help them beat Bully, Devon, and Anderson? But we'll to find out later if it's about to come. About to be on, about to be on the way. We'll just have to wait find out who it is. See you in a couple minutes. We're in the middle of, we're in the middle of the, the six-man tag. Well, what was supposed to be a six-man tag. We're going, we're in the commercial. <laughs> Just before we went to the commercial, they showed, they showed the backstage area. It looks like all the aces and eights have been taken out by someone. But no one knew who else. Says, no one really knows who it is. My opinion, I think it's going to be a miss. This is uh, about 13 minutes left in the show. I'm calling Abyss, but with no one really, no one knows for sure. We'll have to wait and see. See you in a few minutes. <clears throat> Looks like I called it again. How do I do this? I am a wrestling genius. Buckle loose. I'm not trying to steal your catchphrase, Michael Wolf, but Buckle loose. But I am a wrestling genius because I call it once again. That monster abyss is back. They destroyed, ran through aces and eights, black hole slam. On oh. Anderson, I believe it was. Pins in one, two, three. The monster's back. Titty. Back on top. And that's who Hogan was talking to on the phone. So, good show tonight. Love the main event. Love seeing the monster abyss back. Really. Continue to do the Joseph book gimmick. Well, he switches back and forth like Mick Foley's do with Doodle of Mankind and Cactus Jack, or is this the official with ton a full time of this? We'll have to wait and see how the Aces and Eights react or, or uh, come back. The monster of this. We're turning. We'll have to wait till next week. But that is it for tonight. That is it for Impact Wrestling. What did you think of the show? What did you think of this? And what did you think of my store? Uh, performance is your... Your, uh... Commentator for the evening. Let me know down below. And... <laughs>